Okay. Um, in a previous video, um, we talked about how a variable, x for example, probably the most common variable in algebra, is kind of like a bucket. Um, the bucket can hold any number. You can throw any number in that bucket, and you can do stuff with the, with the number, whatever number you happen to throw in the bucket, you can do stuff with it. You can multiply by negative 3 and then add 10, for example. And, and we did that with a few numbers. We put, we put a few numbers in the bucket, and we multiplied by negative 3 and then added 10, and these were the results of that. And um, what we were doing was evaluating this expression with the known, when we know the value of the variable, when we know what number is in the bucket. So the negative 3x plus 10 is an expression that we can evaluate if we know what x equals. Um, now, what if, what if I tell you to close your eyes and I say, I'm going to put a number in the bucket, but I'm not going to tell you what number I put in the bucket, but I'm going to give you a clue. If you take the number that I put in the bucket and you multiply by negative 3 and then add 10, the result is negative 2. I've given you a clue to figure out what number I've put in the bucket. What I have just created here, negative 3x plus 10 equals negative 2, that is called an equation. And it's something that we solve. When we figure out what number it is that was put in the bucket, using the clue of the equation, we have solved the equation. We, when we figure out that number that was put in the bucket, that number that was put in the bucket, it's called the solution to the equation. So, well, it wasn't 5 that was put in the bucket because 5 um, yielded negative 5 when we multiply by negative 3 and then add 10. It wasn't 11 or negative 2. Oh, don't confuse yourself. This was a number that we put into the bucket and we multiplied by negative 3 and then added 10 to get 16. Well, the result here is negative 2 after multiplying the number that was put in the bucket by negative 3 and then adding 10. Now, I don't expect you, um, some of you probably could figure it out, um, but I don't expect you right now that's to, to figure it out. That's what you're going to learn how to do. Um, but if you can, great. Um, but I'll just tell you that the number that I threw in the bucket was 4. The number that I threw in the bucket was 4. If I take that number 4 and multiply it by negative 3, I'll get negative 12. And then if I add 10 to that, I'll end up with negative 2. And you'll soon understand, you'll soon understand how if I, I happen to know that, but even if I didn't, I could have figured it out with that clue. You'll soon know how to figure that out to solve the equation, to figure out what number was put in the bucket based on the clue of the equation. An equation is a clue, and you're finding the solution, or solving the equation, which is figuring out what number was put into the variable bucket.